Hi, I'm Samuel Goodwin and I'm a production manager here at Atlanta Media Pros. Something you may not know about the film industry is that it is all formatted around a 12 hour instead of an eight hour day in both production and post-production. In production, the reason we have a 12 hour day is because you're trying to leave time for setup, for wrap, and for lunch and offloading footage. For events, setup can be as short as about a half an hour or it can take as long as two hours if we don't have days beforehand to prep and if we have specialty equipment we have to load in. And in the film industry, it's important to remember that our day does not start when the camera starts rolling, it starts when the crew gets to set. This is really, really important to remember. When you're paying for a 12 hour day, you're not paying for 12 straight hours of filming. What you're paying for is the time to set up, to wrap and to offload footage as well. Once we're set up, we'll keep filming until six hours after we arrived at set. At this six hour mark, we're contractually obligated to provide lunch to our crew. Lunch can be as short as a half an hour, but the timer doesn't start until the last person gets their food. After lunch, we'll film all the way up until we decide that we need to wrap. Wrapping generally takes about the same amount of time as load-in. And we wanna make sure we allocate time to do this so we can do it safely, quickly, but no one's in a rush and no one's going to get hurt. One last thing you have to do at the end of the day is offload footage. Now all of this means that a 12 hour day does not actually mean 12 hours of shooting. It means careful preparation, taking care of our crew with a lunch, wrapping out safely, and ensuring nothing bad is going to happen for your footage. This is super important for events because these only happen once. If that footage is lost, that moment can be lost forever. It's extremely important we take the extra time to make sure this is done properly. That is why production works on a 12 hour day. But post-production works on a 12 hour day too. Here's Molly to explain why. They say that it takes 10 hours to edit one minute of perfect footage. Is this true? Have they proven it? I can't really say. But here's what I can say about event footage is that we get tons of excess footage because you only get one shot to cover as much as you possibly can because the event only happens once. 12 hours is actually an incredibly short amount of time for editing. Editing is a meticulous and detail-oriented skill. On top of all the tasks it simply takes just to do the editing, it's also a creative process, right? So you have to think about what does this shot mean next to this shot? How is this transition going to affect the flow? It all comes back to what are we trying to say with this video? What do we want to say about this event? So knowing your tone, as stated in a previous vlog, is always what it's going to come back to. So whether it's production or editing, planning ahead and having clear goals can help you make the most of your 12 hours. Here at Atlanta Media Pros, we're super happy to help with your event videos. So give us a call and we'll get started today.